Hello everyone and welcome to Polar Bridge. So today we're at least going to finish this bridge, I hope. So a 24 meter triple decker. It shouldn't be any problems because if I remember correctly this level is quite easy. And straightforward. Make some structural support like this. And of course, we'll be adding a lot more than this. And then wood, straight down. So each level above will give support to the lower ones. And then we can build two towers. One here and one here. And put some cables to give it more stability in the middle. Because this will probably crash. So what I'm thinking is making at least steel up like this and then cable. And same over on the, on the other side as well. So there. Almost. It's breaking, so we could change the angle. It helps sometimes, or usually it helps. Maybe backwards. And turn grid off, so it's easier to move. Okay, one is holding and one is breaking, so I know that it can hold. The thing is just to get the right angle. Stupid bridge! Don't break on me! Yeah, that was worse. Would it like if there was a symmetry mode in here? So I could make it same on both sides. So if I build, built here, put a road out like this, a road out here, would build in the exact same way. Okay, it doesn't seem to work. Put down some extra cables and see if it helps. It shouldn't, I think, but it might. Should probably break it faster. Can we see here? Where is it? It's like two to the side. So two to the side. A little bit more backwards. Somewhere like that. Now make another stable point. Delete that and make a cable of air as well. Okay. This one is enough? No. Okay, that works. I can do the same here. I like to have it symmetrically. So it looks the same on both sides. Now it's holding. And the cars are going over the tracks without any problems and nothing is breaking. We have a lot of mana left. So it was good. Okay, steel arch bridge. We have a bus going over here. Let's make a road and it's easier to do this with grid on for some reason. Delete it all and grid on. Because I can get it perfectly aligned if I have grid on. So what we need to do is build a bridge of steel. And I think we sh I should build a frame. And then cable stone. Can't I get the lines here? I would like to get the lines. Very quite helpful. So that's 
straight on top of this one. Exactly what I want. Then I want this to be in between. Now I get the line. In between those two. Might be a bit too steep. Maybe. Yeah, probably. We want to have it looking perfect then. Have it close to that one. And I want to place it. Please. Thank you. I get so irritated. When things doesn't work as I want them to. Do I still get the lines if I have... No, I don't get it. So, undo. No lines. Erg. I could just make them shorter. Otherwise. I don't need to have them at full length. Why didn't I think about that first? Here I would need to have it full length. Maybe. No. Nope. If I have it perfectly straight, I can have it like that. How did I do it on the other side? Okay. You're too high up. Is that even good? Too high up? In the middle. Now we can move you to the right position, I think. That's probably it. And then just more steel. In a straight line. Hopefully this will work. Otherwise I will do a design that's similar to my other solution probably. Don't know exactly how it looks, but... I think I can do something similar. No! Stupid cable. Just having them like this, and of course, right now it would break if I try it. I will need to build another frame thing around this one. Or just increase its strength with steel. Let's just increase its strength with steel. So build something around. Like this and I would like if you could click outside a switch road with the normal steel as well and other things like wood but I really like that feature sometimes it works but not always and I'm playing in a beta build of a game right now so I changed my steam setting so I get the beta because I thought, hi, well, this update might be good. And make them as big as I can now. Try to improve some stability. Yeah, no, not that big. But this could improve the stability. It's a bit squarish, so that could give us some problems. But I wanted them to be straight up like that. So I had one joint in between each two points. Okay, it's a bit, I need a bit more strength and I'm almost out of money. So that's not good at all. Don't even have enough money to make that on this other side. So, do we just need to build something on top here, maybe? Yeah, I know I'm over budget. I wasn't see if it works. Almost. Might need to change the shape a lot more than this. To make it actually work. 
Now we're under budget list, so that's something. And now it's breaking because these here are too steep. I think at least. I don't just want to show you the same solution that I used on my solution series. I try to make something different. And sometimes it's harder. Other times it's actually a lot easier. Let's give it a nice curve and don't think about where the steel points are. With a bit more curve, like that. And same here. Don't even know if it's symmetric or not. Then we need cable. This looks okay. That's a bit sharp. In the middle here, can we do something about that? Not really. Could delete that. Delete those two and place a bit more steel. I said steel. I'm gonna cable straight down. I think this might be better. And now just make it like this. A frame again. But now it has a bit more curve and it will divide the stress more equally among its parts so it will be a lot better I think I'm not an engineer not yet anyway and not of this type let's see here Having an X in the middle, maybe. See, a lot better. And we have a hundred percent. That is stressed a lot. That part's a little stressed on that. And it made it. Let's see, which bridge is this? It, this is the monster truck bridge. I think I will do this bridge next time. So if you want to see two monster trucks hitting each other in there, subscribe to my channel so you can watch the next, next video. It should be up tomorrow, I think. So see you then.